Brian Quartiquet here for Red Carpet Report at the premiere of Steve McQueen's The Man in Le Mans. So the director of the film. Mm -hmm. So how long did it take to make this movie? Oh, about four years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from start to finish, four years when we first had the idea to make it and then it's a year and a half to get it going properly. Uh -huh. And then it's been a mad two years, two and a bit years, to where it's, it's all escalated and, you know, we found footage, we got people on board and here we are tonight, yeah. What was the biggest challenge in making this? Um, I think trying to find new footage and trying to, trying to actually see what was out there. You know, we hoped and we believed that we'd find lots of footage, but until you actually do that, you, um, you just cross your fingers and hope you will find that. And what do you think the viewers are going to see? What aspect of Steve McQueen do you think they're going to see watching this? Um, well, I, I hope they'll see um, something that is the, to, a bit closer to the human being, maybe. You know, people think they hear the King of Cool, they see the King of Cool, they know him to a certain extent. Of course, they know his face. Of course, they know how he acted. But, but we, we got into trying to tell this story because we wanted to try and show uh, the man beneath that a little bit more. So hopefully they'll... They'll see the, the actor, yes, of course, the race driver he wanted to be, but also the, the human being. So I take it you are a huge a Steve McQueen fan before jumping in on this project? Or? Well, my, my, my dad was a huge Steve McQueen fan, okay. and, um, and I've, I, I was, of course. I mean, I, I knew his films, and I, I, and, but I, I mean, Le Mans's not a, not a hugely, hugely famous film in the UK where I'm from. Um, and it was more the, the, when I read about his life at that period in time that I wanted to explore that really to try and to try and study a, a superstar in, and try and get a bit closer to him maybe. So I, I, I'm a bigger Steve McQueen fan now than I was because I think I think I think I I think I feel like I know him a bit better now. <laughs> <laughs> I know him a lot better now. I see. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, are there any other projects that you're currently working on? Yeah, we're working on a few projects at the moment. Yeah, one especially about a guy um, in the UK who was a um, very big figure in. Um, in race and politics in Britain in the 60s called Michael, Michael X, his name was Michael De Freitas, um, and he was named Michael X by Malcolm X, so um, he's a pretty unknown figure in the UK and in the world, but he's an interesting, fascinating story. So we're hoping to find some equally incredible unseen archive and see if we can do a, do a, do a good job on that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you, back, uh, you go back and forth from the UK to the US? I don't come to the US that often. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I, I've, I mean, I have been back and forth with this project. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the third, fourth time, maybe. Um, but mainly the U mainly the UK. That's where I'm based. What do you think is the biggest culture shock in the US compared to the UK? Um, it's not that much of a culture shock, apart from the weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was raining and raining when I left. Um, no, it's just, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you come here and I'm talking about this film and everyone loves Steve McQueen so much in the US, you know, it's, but that's what's been amazing for me with this. It's like, oh, Steve McQueen and, and, and they, they get him, they, they love him over here. And um, so hope, hopefully, you know, hopefully there's a real enthusiasm for this film. I hope so. Oh, I think so. I think so. Especially here. So thank you so much and oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to hit that like button, rate, comment and subscribe and let me know what your favorite Steve McQueen movie is.